In the complaint, the former employee is seeking his job back here at Hugo's Frog Bar, as well as wages and tips he lost out on since being fired, he says, for calling out unsafe and unsanitary conditions. Every step was just a slosh of water or directly into water. Only 11 months into his dream job at Hugo's Frog Bar on Rush Street in the Gold Coast. I also felt, wow, yeah, I made it. I'm like at one of the higher end places I can get in my profession. Matthew Cabrales says he was fired following what was a normal shift on June 4th that turned into a drenched nightmare. It smelled like sewage as soon as you hit the back of the house. He recorded the cell phone video that night showing what he claims was a sewage backup that smelled of feces flooding parts of the restaurant as customers were still being served. We didn't get a plumber out there until 830 and we had been protesting with our managers for probably about two and a half, three hours of why are we not shut down yet. He's now filing a complaint with the National Labor Relations Board claiming the restaurant violated the law and retaliated against him for speaking out about what he says were unsafe and unsanitary conditions. He says management fired him because he was using his cell phone on the job. Under the National Labor Relations Act, employees are permitted to utilize a cell phone to record evidence that they believe relates to employee rights, employee health, and, and the safety of others. In the statement from the owners with Gibson's restaurant group, they say the restaurant, quote, had a drained backup in its dishwashing area one evening last month, which caused some puddling under the kitchen floor mats in the back of house. Dishes to be cleaned were moved to an alternate dishwashing station until the situation was resolved. At no time was the health or safety of our customers or employees in danger. The owners wouldn't comment on why they fired Cabrales, saying they do not publicly discuss employee matters. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.